An Irish family immigrate to Australia in the 60s. They think it's the lucky country and it's all sunshine and everything's going great for them. Um, and then all of a sudden the dream turns sour and very quickly um, we realise this is a family that's got quite a, a muddy past. So it kind of reads a bit like a family saga, but it also reads a bit like a mystery and a character exploration. The book's set in Australia and Ireland, and despite my accent, I was actually born in Australia and I grew up in Ireland. So a lot of the times when there's scenes which the, the main character, Marty Driscoll, is encountering things like guards and priests and itinerants, uh, it's kind of experience that, that I had at my time when I was in Ireland. And, I like, to, I like the idea of contrasting the, the, the very, very dry, dusty, barren landscape of Australia with the very dreek, wet Ireland, and so that's what I did, I kind of weaved them together. Part of the switch from, from crime is, I mean, I became a, a father for the first time earlier in the year, and um, I think I probably wanted to, to write something that I'd be happy to, to see my my son read and probably to, to kind of create a, a world that I'd be happy to see my son grow up in. There's not murder around and there's definitely not the scaffolding of a, a crime plot in there but it's similar sort of territory as I've explored in the past. I don't think my crime novels fitted very comfortably into the crime genre anyway. They were more like um, character sketches and explorations and the audience has always stuck with me. I've got some fantastic fans who really let me push the boat out quite a bit. Um, but this is this is probably going to be quite different territory for a lot of a lot of people and it will bring them to to me I hope. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. Early reviews have been fantastic. Um, ranging from words like masterpiece and perfect, which I, I've never had in reviews before. I mean critics have always been really kind to me uh, and I've been really lucky with reviews but but these ones have kind of blown me away. The, the first person to read it was um, a, a writer I really admire, Doug Johnson, and he thought it was something quite special. And um, Lisa Jewell is another popular author that uh, we, I used to share an agent with, and she read it and thought it was incredible, so I'm very flattered. The main theme is fathers and sons, and um, it is split between one chapter is alternated with the father and one chapter is alternated with the son. Um, so you get to kind of explore the, the, the story as it goes along through, through both those perspectives. There's also the, the, um, the mother, Shauna, who is suffering from depression, the black dog as it's called, which kind of stalks her throughout the whole book. Um, her perception of the, the story is, is, is completely different to her husband's and her son's as well. She's kind of shaking her, her head at these stupid men. Um, but her story is told in in retrospect, it's told in um, snatches taken from her diary. I didn't have to go undercover as a female to try and experience um, what it was like to be Shauna Driscoll, you know. Um, she was an integral part of the story and I just needed to sort of let myself explore that on the page and it, it kind of flowed quite naturally. The whole book, I have to say, flowed quite naturally. It was possibly one of the easiest books I've, I've ever written. Um, in a lot of ways, um, the, the other books were kind of building up to, to write this book. It felt like it was um, the, the, the difficult first. Uh, the, they were, I had the difficult second and third album before I had the, the easy first one. You know, all the experience from my life, because I was drawing on that for, for this book, seemed to just get pushed onto the page quite quickly. Definitely started um, getting a lot of memories of, of how things had been when I was growing up and the kind of relationship that I had with my father and um, noticed a lot of the mistakes that he made um, in bringing up his children, um, which are, I would say are certainly not going to be mistakes I made, I'll make, but you know, I'll make different ones. If Judy comes back to me and he's got a story to tell, then you know, I'll, I'll um, do my best to, to try and put it out there. I had thought he was done and dusted, I really did, and I moved away to Melbourne to get away from him because I didn't want this ranting and raging alcoholic in my head but um, he kind of followed me out there and he had another story to tell so I put out a few novellas featuring him but um, yeah I don't I don't see myself sticking too much with the crime in future. My next book has um, actually similar territory to this one it kind of explores the the, the idea of uh, a family under stress it's um, about 
uh, a family of Lithuanian immigrants who um, think they're actually going to New York, but they end up in Van Diemen's land. And um, the father becomes a, a tiger man, just as the, the Tasmanian tiger cull is in full swing. Uh, and that's called The Last Tiger, and that's coming out with um, Cargo next year.